Disclaimer, if I pronounce any of these towns slash cities wrong in this video of the Ukraine and Russia war analysis, it is not in any way to offend anyone or meant in a bad manner, and I hope you take it in a good and not offensive manner. Okay, let's get into the video. So, today I'll be analysing the current war in Ukraine and showing you points where the Ukrainians are making progress and some of the Russians are making progress. You won't see a lot of those. Um, so here we will start from the top, near Kharkiv, down to the south in Kherson. If we come up to the top, multiple shellings seen on the map by the Russian military, and they have launched multiple offensives into Kharkiv, attempting to take it, and they have been unsuccessful. These light blue areas are territories that have been liberated from the Russian forces. All around here, all around Kharkiv. As we see here, these shellings at Kharkiv direction with tanks, howitzers, and M ML MLRS. Russian army shelled these towns on screen this morning. If we go farther south, down to Donetsk and Luhansk, we see this little pocket down here of Ukrainians. This is key for the Ukrainians, this little pocket of soldiers here. The reason it's key is this, this little route, this route here, aka the M03 route, or the M04, one or the other, that goes up on Izium. This is supplying troops across, across this whole front line. If the Ukrainians can shell this, they have a massive, massive advantage. So the Russians need to work on getting it out. They have acted, they have actually shelled some uh, neighbouring towns, which is going to do jack shit but kill innocent civilians, which is horrible. So moving farther down south to Luhansk and Donetsk, we have a little area where the Russians have been doing multiple offensives into Bakhmat, which they have failed to occupy. They have also shelled multiple violent clashes near Bakhmat right now, are currently happening. Multiple Russian offensives. Russian scout groups attempted to advance into these uh, things, into Bakhmat, Zatsevi, and the armed forces of Ukraine say this morning. Moving farther down south to Donetsk in the Donbass, in this town, in this little area here, this pocket will also be crucial to shelling routes such as ones over here and the H20 route, the ones that the rest of the part of it the Russians occupy. It's going to be absolutely useless until they occupy this area here, which is going to be able to supply down from here, supply up from Donetsk. It probably does, and the Ukrainians can shell it from here. The Russians have been making more offensives, they have been shelling more of Donetsk. Now moving down south to Kherson, they have also launched heavy uh, assaults in Pisky, by the way. Moving down here to Veleke Noskila, I know I said that wrong, please don't correct me. The Russians have actually shelled that recently in neighbouring towns. Another Russian offensive into this area that has completely failed. The Ukrainian military neutralised Russian scout groups near uh, Veleka Noskia. Russian shellings in the uh, city or town of Novosilka. Moving farther down south, completely, completely on Kherson. This blue area here is territories liberated from the Russian forces. As you can see how much progress is being made across the, the southern front in Kherson. Liberating multiple territories. The, the Ukrainians have shelled multiple and destroyed pretty much all the bridges that lead across the uh, this river that goes through here. This bridge has been uh, neutralized. One of the multiple that have been. And uh, not too long ago in Mikolaev, MLRSs shelled the living shit out of Mikolaev, killing multiple civilians in the progress, which is horrible. And uh, yeah, pretty much that is it for this week's update. And uh, yeah, that's the current status of the war in Ukraine. Thank you for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed. And that has been the Ukraine-Russia war analysis.